All right, I'm gonna re-explain the uh, weighing the small trailer because my last video was a little confusing, I'm sure. But a little simplified here. This is what you do. You take something here, it's five feet long. You put a fulcrum point at this end, just a round pipe or something or other. 12 inches in is where you put your jack. This will be your axle right above here. And on this end, you just use a bathroom scale. They only go up to 300 pounds, so you have to do a little math work to uh, figure that out. The easiest way to do this is once you have the tire just clearing the ground, so all the weight is supported by the, by the plank here, if you take this weight, multiply it by five, that's the five feet total here, and you do that for the right side, the left side, and then the tongue weight, you don't do any of this, you just go directly on the scale because these small trailers, 300 pounds is, is going to more than cover it. And after all that, you get your total. Now on my last video, which was just a quick one, I came up with this. Sorry about the lighting in here, it just kind of sucks. I'm in the, inside the garage. But on my last one, I came up with uh, 630 on the right, 850 on the left, and a tongue weight of 136. Our tongue weight's too light, and that's not within the 10-15% that I need. But the difference between these two, I couldn't figure out why the left is so high. And that's my battery side, and I also have my footwell on that side, but there can't be that much of a difference. That only, But even with this, you know, it only left me 84 extra pounds I can use to load because I didn't want to load this trailer any more than 1,700. That's, within, you know, that's 300 from the gross vehicle weight. But I redid it today, <clears throat> and I come out with these different numbers, if you can see it. Yeah, you can see them on here. Uh, okay, I got the right now at 144, the left at 151, and the tongue weight at 130, which, yes, I know, that's still too light. And I lost a couple of pounds because on the platform for the bed, I perforated that with two and one-eighth inch holes and a couple of one-inch holes between that. Just tried to knock some of that three-quarter inch plywood weight down. But... The reason I'm going to show you this is how I ended up getting the numbers so wrong. And this I drew out to make this a little easier to explain. <clears throat> what I did is on the on the front, I left it on the jack. And I should have done it right at the very center to keep this a perfect triangle. Well, the best triangle I can get anyway. So what I did, so the reason this screwed up is here on the right side when I'm lifting this up it makes the pivot point across this line right here which means everything above this including the batteries here on the tongue are overhang so this weight is on the other side of this point here so this is actually making this corner lighter that's why I had some why it's so light on this side but on this side when I did this side the pivot point would be from the jack over the axle here which is just this tiny section here of overhang so I had to redo that I, I couldn't figure out why the numbers were so wrong and that's what I did wrong I got brain farted so yeah if, you, if you're gonna do this remember to support this end of your triangle directly below the hitch so that way your numbers will be correct I know Go back here for a second. So it ends up being 1605. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to lose a few pounds. We have a Land Rover, a little Discovery too, and they're pretty small on the inside. And so this right now is leaving me what 95 pounds before I hit the 1700. So that's not quite going to cut it. Even if I just put blankets and stuff in the trailer and try to carry everything else in the Land Rover, the Land Rover doesn't have that much cubic feet of interior space. So I'll have to work on that, see if I can find some way of losing weight. Maybe I'll take the batteries out and carry those in the Land Rover and put even more lightweight stuff in there. But I still have the composting toilet and the, uh, the solar heater to go in there and crazy stuff like that. i got to weigh those and see what those come out to be. But hopefully I can figure this out because I really don't want to drive that thing 2,000 miles, you know, when it weighs, you know, close to 2,000 pounds, it doesn't leave me enough leeway to even hit a speed bump, so. Anywho, just letting you know where I screwed up and trying to make that easier. But like I said, just, uh, if you're going to do that, just 
set it up this way get your weight multiply it by five get that weight this weight and tongue weight added up and there you go that's a pretty close ballpark figure to what your uh, total dry weight of your trailer is going to be all right hopefully i didn't give anybody a headache but uh that's it all right guys thanks for watching